Hey, it's Rudy. How's it going from Healthpreneur? Uh, I want to talk with you in this video about how to sleep better. Um, how to sleep better as an entrepreneur because as we know, um, you may have experienced some times where you go to bed at night and you've got a lot of things going on in your mind. So this happened to me last night. This actually happens to me quite a bit. Um, <laughs> so I want to share two two things that have, uh, that have worked really well for me. So um, I think the reason this is important is because if we are not sleeping well, as you know, you can't perform well, right? Now, my kids last night were like, so two nights ago, they're staying up till like midnight. I'm like, well, what are you guys doing? Like, they're normally in bed by seven, 7.30. And they're, they're home right now on March break, so you can hear some craziness in the background. But I told them like, hey guys, like, think about an iPad, right? What happens with an iPad if you play it all day long? Well, it dies, right? Now, what happens to you if you don't get any sleep? The same thing, your battery's gonna die. Now, the sad thing is that our youngest one, who's five years old, actually thought he's gonna die. And I think he, he kind of misconstrued the, the, the stories, so that was my bad. Um, but I had to reassure him on the list, but you're not gonna die. You're gonna to sleep to recharge and build your battery back up for tomorrow. Anyways, so I was thinking about this because I'm like, if the kids aren't sleeping properly, they're just a friggin' mess the next day. And, and most of us are as well, in terms of like not being able to focus and so forth. So one of the things that, um, I find really helpful if you're someone who has a lot of stuff on your mind is before you go to bed, like right before you go to bed, just take out a journal and just do a brain dump. Like write down everything that's on your mind, like everything you think you have to do for tomorrow, um, all the little kind of um, incomplete type of things. Like I gotta do this, what if this happens, da 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 da. Just write it all down on a piece of paper, get it out of your mind. Uh, and that just kind of, kind of gives your, I guess your subconscious mind more reassurance that it's, it's stored somewhere else that you can remember it later. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, um, and I don't recommend this for everyone, can, your point of view on this is up to you. Uh, so a good buddy of mine runs a CBD oil company <clears throat> and a couple months ago he gave me a, a CBD vape. I, I don't ever, like I, I never use it. Last night I decided to give it a shot because um, kids were going a little bit nuts. I had a little bit of muscle neck pain up here from a, from a workout. And I'm like, you know what? Let's try this CBD thing out. So I, you know, had my vape, took a couple, uh, took a couple puffs. And in case you're not aware of the benefits of CBD, uh, I'm still not fully up to speed on it, but apparently it's really good for uh, relaxation, pain relief, all that kind of stuff. And I have some friends that have been using it for improving their sleep. So they talked about it, like taking it before bed and improves their sleep. So. I decided to run an experiment last night, so I, I did, um, you know, I had a couple puffs of the CBD, you know, later on in the night, around eight o'clock or so. And when I went to bed, what I found really interesting is that I wouldn't say that I sleep as well as I used to. I, there's a lot of turning and tossing around at night. I'm very, I think, a lot lighter of a sleeper than I used to be. And one of the things I noticed last night was I slept, like, it was deep sleep for a long period of time. And I woke up this morning and I'm like, hold on, that was an interesting experience because I slept pretty deeply for most of the night. So those are two things that, um, now I'm not gonna do CBD every single night. I don't really think it's a, a healthy way to get your body to sleep if you have to rely on some kind of like external you know, substance to sleep better. That's probably not the best thing. Um, but I just wanted to share a little experiment that I had last night that worked pretty well. Um, but above and beyond that, I think really just getting stuff out of your head, writing it down in a journal or on a piece of paper is really important to get stuff off your head and allow you to go to bed, not worrying about that stuff. Cause you can't go to sleep when you're thinking about a thousand things, right? So that's my, uh, my, encha my challenge for you today is, is to just go to bed, clear mind, focus on your breathing, not the stuff you have to do tomorrow or the stuff that's coming out of your bank account or whatever it is, okay? So hope this makes sense for you. Um, if it does, great. If there's anything else that you have done to improve your sleep, I'd love to know in the comments. Just let me know below. I'm always looking to try new things. Um, and for now, hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you soon, guys.